When we look at the data on the United States population today, what stands out over the last half century is the nation's growing diversity. Immigrants have been a key driver of that increase in diversity, and together with their U.S.-born children, they account for most of the U.S. population growth since the 1960s. Today, more than 45 million people living in the U.S. were born in another country. And the U.S. has more immigrants than any other country in the world, accounting for 20% of all immigrants worldwide. Most immigrants today are from uh, Latin America or from Asia. In fact, when you take a look at the nation's immigrant population, the single largest group are from Mexico, but we have significant numbers from countries like China and India as well. But the rest of the world is represented too. And when you take a look at the nation's immigrants, you'll find there are people from Sub-Saharan Africa, from Latin America, from Europe, and from many other parts of the world. Here, we're looking at the percentage of the American population that is foreign-born over time. As you can see, the peak was back in 1890, and it has gone up and down since then. Today, in the early 21st century, we are almost at another high point, with 13.5% of us born outside of the U.S. Another interesting trend is that the U.S. unauthorized immigrant population is at its lowest level in more than a decade. Most immigrants in the U.S. are in the country legally. About three-quarters of the 45 million are either U.S. citizens or are authorized to be in the country for work or to study. American views on immigration and immigrants in general have also changed over the years. Even over the past two decades, we've seen a shift in public opinion. In the 1990s, for example, the prevailing sentiment about immigrants was that they were more of a burden than a benefit to the country. That trend, however, is reversed, and today, 6 in 10 Americans describe immigrants as a strength for the country because of the hard work and talents they bring to the nation. So now we can see a 20-year trend line that shows that as a nation has grown more diverse, American attitudes have grown more positive about immigration overall. In fact, about 6 in 10 U.S. adults say that having an increasing number of people of different races, ethnic groups, and nationalities in the U.S. makes a country a better place to live.